Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my DIY dry mix, which is the vegetable and flour component. Now, if you haven't seen my seed mix video, which pairs really well with this dry mix one, you can combine them all together if you want to. Make sure you check that out after this video. I have links below and above and wherever else there may be and check out the rest of my channel too, because you'll find lots and lots of diet information on there. I've got a whole diet playlist, which you'll find really interesting with lots of yummy things that you can offer to your birds. But today we're doing the DIY dry mix with vegetables and flour. Flowers. Now, as I mentioned in my seed mix video, a seed mix and a dry mix alone are not a complete diet. We're looking for lots of diversity and variety when we're offering food to our birds, which is why I recommend checking out my diet playlist with lots and lots of information on there because we want to be providing lots of different healthy things for our birds. Now, I always opt for organic ingredients where possible and human grade as well. So again, when you're buying things sometimes from pet stores and they're really cheap and you think, oh, that's great value, it's cheap for a reason, and that's because the ingredients aren't always the best quality. So when I'm getting human grade, at least I know it's gonna be safe. It's something that I could consume, um, and it's gonna be the best quality for offering to my birds. Now again, mentioned in my last video, this dry mix and the seed mix are not the only dry ingredients that we offer our birds. We have a whole food cupboard full of yummies for our flock. So if you'd like to know more about the other things that we don't include in dry mixes and things like that, let me know and I can make a video. I do have similar ones on my channel already, but if you'd like a new updated video with what's in our bird food cupboard, do let me know and I can make that for you. Also, can we just appreciate like Scampi is there he is, hiya, yeah. <laughs> he's just having a little nap in my hair. Peepee's trying to cuddle too, which is adorable. So let's talk about a few things that we don't put into our dry mixes, because there are things that I avoid for various reasons. They're kind of personal preference, but I wanted to give you some ideas because again, it might inspire you to change how you do things. Now, the first thing that we don't include in our dry mixes are fruit. Now, fruit is amazing in small quantities for our birds. It has lots of health benefits. But when it comes to fruit, we don't want to be giving them loads and loads of fruit because it is high in natural sugars. And of course, if we're feeding loads and loads of sugar and our birds maybe aren't burning it off, then that could lead to some overstimulation, potential hormones. So we like to just portion control what fruit our birds are getting. And they do have access to it, both fresh and freeze dried. Now dried fruit isn't always the best because it is much higher in sugar and some dried fruits actually have preservatives and things in them. So we want to avoid that, but freeze dried fruits are much safer and they retain more nutrition because generally speaking, freeze dried foods contain up to 95% of the original nutrition of the item. Whereas dried foods, while they can sometimes be okay and dehydrated ones too, they're usually anywhere between 50 to 70%, sometimes higher, but it really depends on the individual. But freeze dried is quite consistent with how much nutrition it retains and it is a lot at 95%. So that's what we tend to go for. The other thing as well with fruit, while it's amazing in small quantities, is I find when I put it in a dry mix, it tends to go a bit sticky and a bit soft, not as crunchy as it was before as freeze dried. So I find it kind of ruins the mix a little bit. So we like to keep it separate when we do have freeze dried fruit and then we can add a piece or two uh, for the evening meal and that works better that way. The other thing we tend not to include in our dry mixes are nuts. Again, nuts are fantastic for birds in moderation. They have lots of omega-3s, they're awesome. However, we don't include them in our dry mixes for two reasons. Firstly, because for some of our birds, nuts are a great reinforcer. But secondly, we much prefer to soak nuts for our birds in cool water for a set period of time, depending on the nut, and it makes it healthier, more digestible, more bioavailable. And we find that that's a better way of doing things rather than adding them in dry to our dry mixes. But make sure you are including nuts in your bird's diet, not peanuts, technically a legume, not a nut, but other nuts like tree nuts, walnuts, uh, cashews, Brazil nuts, hazelnuts, pine nuts, all of those are really awesome, um, but we choose uh, to not include them in our dry mix and that's our personal preference. And the other things that we tend not to include in our dry mixes are spices, things like Ceylon cinnamon or star anise or cloves. We don't typically put them in our dry mix. And again, this is kind of a personal preference because I find when we put all those spices in the dry mix combined with the vegetables and the flowers, it makes a really weird smell because they're all very fragrant. So again, we prefer to have our spices separate from the dry mix and then we can add them in. We can have a different spice each day and things like that again spices have lots of health benefits but we just prefer not to include them in the dry mix and again we can provide more variety that way by adding things separately each day <laughs> so that's all the information i have today on the dry mix i suppose scampi we should just get straight into it and make it all together 
In our dry mix, we have Simply Floral Forage Tray from Polly's Natural Parrot Boutique, which has blue cornflowers and chamomile and other flowers in there. Tulsi or holy basil, bird's eye chilies, dried lavender, raw coconut chips, freeze dried beetroot pieces, freeze dried broccoli pieces, dried pumpkin pieces, freeze dried sweet corn, freeze dried green peas, freeze dried carrot pieces, hibiscus flowers, the Rose Meal Topper from Polly's Natural Parrot Boutique, dried red bell peppers, marigold or calendula flowers, and chrysanthemum flowers, which are also from Polly's Natural Parrot Boutique. So that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my DIY dry mix with vegetables and flowers. Again, combining this with the seed mix is really awesome because then your bird is getting a whole variety of yummies. But as I said, we have lots of different things in our bird food cupboard that we all add together to make a nice evening meal. Again, if you want to learn more about parrot nutrition, I've got my diet playlist, but also make sure you have that notification bell on and I'll subscribe to my channel because there's a lot more exciting content coming up. So keep your eyes peeled for all of that. But again, thank you so much for watching and for being here today. I really appreciate you watching my videos. But from me and Pickles P and Scampy, who's playing with David <laughs> behind the camera, Thanks for watching, take care and see you later.